Today is another special tutorial on how to make more RAM on your computer. Now, this is going to be virtually not um, putting in your um, RAM onto your computer. It's just a virtual drive machine that you have to not download. You just have to. It's included in your Windows, so it's just going to take a portion from your um, computer's local disk uh, and use it as um, RAM, basically. So you look at this. Um, I have 390 GB left, so basically this is all free space. You can use some of this, um, let's say this much partition, as a RAM for your computer. So basically if you have a lot of space free like I do, you can just use that as your RAM. Now, if you don't have that, um, you can just use a little bit of it. And some people have it up to here, like a little bit free space. You can still use it. I mean, it's not going to do anything to your storage device. So, yeah, basically. So first of all, if you're running on Windows 7, go to the start button over here and search it up. Um, and if you're running on Windows 8 or 8.1 preview, like I'm running on right now, um, you can just go. What? Okay, so this is going to take. There you go. See, this is kind of annoying, but um, just go to the settings and then go to PC info. That um, tells you I am running on Windows 8.1 preview. If you're running on Windows 7, it will tell you right here. And go to Control Panel, System Security, and System. Just that's for on um, Windows 7 users. Now go to Advanced System Settings, which is right here. After going, after going there, um, it says Computer Name right here. This is where it should take you at, but you have to go to Advanced. This is where it should stop, but for me it just loads up here. Um, go to Settings, and this should show up. Then go to Advanced right here. This tells you how much RAM you have. Um, the RAM you have right now is probably going to be put over here. My RAM is 4 GB around that. Um, you can change it. I'll go to here. This is all. Um, this is going to be checked into your computer. Now I'll click that, and as you can see, this is how much pending space I have on my local disk or AKA hard drive. And now you can use it um, as RAM. So basically, you can use what your computer tells you to use or you can just um, go do a custom size let's say you want to do about um, 5,000 around that um, scenario let's say that and put set there you go and done and it's going to tell you to just start your computer and just press that apply button there and it's going to tell you to start your computer anyway so it's not going to change over here basically you, you just want to restart your computer and yeah it's going to be done really quickly so or if you can just you can just go to this one right here go to system management you don't need to do this custom size right now you can press set and it's a system managed and automatically manage it and press ok which should me which should make my computer around the 4000 so i'll be back in a second after my computer has rebooted let me just change it again just for the sake of you guys, um, I'm going to change it right now, custom size it to about 5,000 right now. Alright, so let me just do this really, really quickly. Um, it should take like no time whatsoever for me to restart. So basically, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, I'm up and rebooted. Um, let's check out what has changed into my PC right now. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to go through this way because uh, while I'm recording this, my search engine right here into my windows doesn't really work that fine because there's a block there so I'm not gonna go there I'm just gonna go really really quickly into my PCs um where did it go damn it right here damn it damn it I like this I like the windows 8 better it's like so helpful I don't need to go through all of this stuff damn it it's better to go this way yeah see I told you it's like three clicks better than damn Windows 7 anyways so let's just go to advanced um, as you can see I'm running on 5000 MB right now which is around the 5 GB size of RAM and this is basically virtual RAM it can boost up your computer pretty much a lot um, you can change on um, which one you want to go with um, I don't really need this so I'm gonna go with the system management size and you automatically manage everything and yeah system management and that should be like my computer should be running on around like the 4000 MB now so 
basically that's all you have to do just to do all of this you can apply these restart buttons and yeah just have to restart um or now or maybe later I am just gonna restart it right now and yeah that's all you have to do to make your computer up and running for all these um cool apps that everybody releases and you wanna multi -task, multitask everything and you know you wanna go up like do a lot of stuff so basically that's all I, that's all you need to do and yeah that's it thanks for watching guys and make sure you subscribe so my next video is gonna be about um how to stop your computer from using a lot of CPU now some computers use a lot of CPU and let me so, let me show you something right now should load up in a second task manager uh... right here no I'm sorry right here performance there you go um this is the CPU percentage of my computer right now um it's not going that good actually now that I think of it um usually it's around this much or lower than that but this is just right now because I am actually sitting somewhere and it's like on my lap so basically I'm blocking all the fans right now so it shouldn't do that good but if you have all, all your fans cleaned it should be doing good but there's some other technical ways that you can do your something in your computer that can actually make it faster so make sure you watch that and stay tuned <laughs>